Few and far between are the movie houses that originally introduced audiences to silent films, but this one's still running, thanks to a couple of exceptional showmen. Tucked away between the Los Angeles airport and the cooling towers of this oil refinery is a little movie theater that's been showing films for more than 75 years, the Old Town Music Hall in El Segundo. To enter this theater is to take a magical trip through time, back to the earliest days of movie going. This uh, theater was built in 1922. Seats 188 people, and it was uh, a small neighborhood theater like there were thousands across the country. I think we recreated it. It was here in the 20s. This is what the standard uh, of uh, going to a movie meant. Bill Kaufman and Bill Field, affectionately known as the Two Bills, fulfilled a lifelong dream when they acquired this theater in 1968. It had flourished in the days of Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin, but in the 1950s, the theater had fallen on hard times. With little money and a lot of hard work, the two bills restored the theater to its original 1920s luster. One of their major improvements was the installation of the crown jewel of silent film accompaniment, the mighty Wurlitzer organ. This organ uh, was located uh, by Bill Kaufman. Uh, uh, Fox uh, Theater Corporation had it for sale and it was in the uh, West Coast Theater in Long Beach, California. The mighty Wurlitzer is the Rolls-Royce of organs. Designed in the 1920s as a way to replace orchestras that were becoming too expensive for theater chains, this powerful pipe organ, with its myriad of knobs and levers, became a standard of excellence. A single musician could accompany a film in theaters accommodating up to 6,000 spectators. At the organist's fingertips are hundreds of orchestral sounds and dozens of instruments. The marimba, xylophone, castanets, percussion, a ragtime piano, and many others. To underscore the action in silent films are sound effects, like ambulance sirens, broken china, and literally all sorts of bells and whistles. The organist is a busy person. He's a one-man band, he's a conductor, he's uh, 15, 20 musicians all working at once. The, the music starts climbing chromatically up and up and up and up and up and up, and it, it gets way up there until it's just everybody's, you know, on the edge of the seat. The organ has recently joined the modern world. The old pneumatic system, which linked the keys to the various instruments, was replaced by a complex network of electric wires. These wires are connected to a computer capable of recording entire performances. It may be modernized, but the organ and its millions of parts still require constant attention. When he's not tickling the ivories, Bill is usually fixing the organ. They always require perpetual care and attention. That's why it's fun. It's never finished. For the last 30 years, five days a week, the box office opens to spectators who come to see classic dramas, comedies, and musicals. As tradition has it, Bill Field chooses the opening short film, usually a silent comedy, from his collection of over 400 vintage films. Meanwhile, Bill conducts a sing-along. They've done a wonderful job through the years of showing good movies and playing and maintaining that uh, fabulous Wurlitzer pipe organ. And there are usually musicals and, and uh, uh, love stories and so forth that, that are nice movies to see. They're not violent. The two Bills have dedicated their lives to these performances, even if sometimes the theater has only a dozen or so patrons. It's certainly not what you call a moneymaker, never has been. In fact, it's going, it goes into debt frequently and uh, managed to pull out, but buy a shoestring. But, uh, you know, where else are we going to hear the wonderful things? Without any apparent heir, the theater's future seems uncertain. In the meantime, the two bills regularly invite school children so that new generations can experience its magic. And what about retirement? Well, we're not through yet. 
Like the mighty Wurlitzer, the two bills just keep playing on to a rousing round of applause. Yeah.